Hi guys, my name is Julia and in today's video I decided to play with some new makeup together with you. So here's gonna be first impressions and sometimes they're wrong. They're not absolutely accurate, so keep it in mind and let's begin. I will start my makeup with this Pixi Skin Treats Glow Mist. Let's open it up. I will spray it on my face as a base. Next thing we are trying is Bye Bye Foundation by It Cosmetic and it says that it's full coverage moisturizer. This is what I <laughs> definitely need. And it says that it has SPF 50 plus and I think it's great. So, oh wow, I like this packaging. The base is a bit sticky, so it's gonna be good for the foundation. And an hour later, is it going? <laughs> yeah, finally. So I'm going with my Beauty Blender. The shade is fair and it's quite good for me. I want this foundation to cover all my skin and all my life, <laughs> please. Okay, it's really covering. Not so much, but more than average foundations. It smells so nice. Like, I like the smell. It just makes me feel that it's a good thing, you know? Like, this kind of smell, when you smell it and you're like, hmm, this should be good for my skin. Okay, so this is what we got. And I think it's a really good coverage and it feels Somehow it feels healthy on the skin. I don't know how to describe this feeling, but so far I really like it. The next thing that we are going to try is Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I will put just a bit under my eyes, just to, you know, to make sure that I got rid of everything there, of all the darkness. And I will add a bit on my spots with my fingers just to make sure to pat it on very accurately. It's not super high coverage for a concealer, but it's not bad. It feels light and it has pigment in it, so why not? And under the eyes, some ugly faces for the blending. So now I really have this under eye bright area and I will add some more here on the nose and on the center of my forehead just for this classical contouring technique. And by the way, because it's a bit brighter than my skin, it's super nice to use it everywhere where I have shadows because I can conceal them with a lighter shade. And the next thing that we are trying is the Ciate Extraordinary Translucent Powder. Let's open it up. Oh, and it's flying. I hate this type of powders. I'm like, I don't want to inhale all of this. But it always happens with the powders that are very thin. Okay, so I will take a bit on my Beauty Blender. Go under my eyes. It smooths the skin texture very nicely and I will put some powder on my chin very accurately to make sure that all this concealer will stay in place and add some more on the forehead, on the nose and a bit everywhere on my face. It's really, really nice if you like very light powder. I prefer this type of powder like Laura Mercier because they're a bit thicker and that's why they just smooth all the pores and that's cool. This one doesn't smooth the pores. I make sure that I put powder everywhere on my cheeks because we are going to go with bronzer, with uh, blush, so it will blend easily when the powder is Applied. Next, we really need to fix this brows, like white canvas, no brows. Uh, I need my face. Okay, so this is Wonder Beauty Micro Brow Pencil. Is it really micro? Kind of. Okay, so it's automatic, it's nice. The shade is taupe. So let's begin. I will brush my brows upward. Spoolie is nice. And then I will stroke to fill in the gaps. This shade goes really well with me. Very natural color. It's light brown, it's a bit cool. 
Like I really don't have any issues with this pencil, nothing to complain about. It's nice, it's easy to apply, it's not too much, it's not too pale either. And it looks like my brows. The next thing is uh, in the balm of your hand. Greatest Hits Volume 2 from The Balm. Just look at this cutie, how much you have here. Like the blushes, the bronzer, the eyeshadows, everything. And it just goes for $32 to have all of this and highlights it too. I see that my under eye area is already got creased, thanks to concealer, I guess. So let's proceed with this palette. I will go first with this highlighter. It's kind of popular Mary Luminizer. My gosh, how do you pronounce it? I will put it here on my... Oh, so this is why this thing is best selling. Okay, you definitely can see this glow. And it doesn't give anything gray here when you look straight. Just a bit of glitter. And here, beautiful. A bit on the forehead and on the bridge of my nose, on the cupid bow, and a bit on the chin, under the brow, and here in the inner corner, as usual. So it's not super blinding, but it's very nice for, you know, like day-to-day -day life, when you just want this subtle glow, pretty, but not too much. Next, we are going to do bronzer. It's their popular shade Bahama Mama. I will use it both for contouring and for bronzing. I think it fits both tusks. This is a beautiful shade and of course the blending is absolutely perfect. A bit of sun kisses on my forehead and on the nose. I put some bronzer on my neck as well to match the face. So I feel like it's very pretty, it's buildable, it's a very nice shade and for the pale girls too. Let's add some on the eyes to see all the face together and now we need to choose the blush. I like all of them. Okay, I will use this one. It's called Fred Boy and I will put it... Oh, wow! It's a lot of pigment. Delete, delete, delete. I need to delete it. So I will take another brush, take a bit of it and then put it on my hand and after that apply it on the face. High pigment is not bad, but you have to be accurate with it. So going from less to more. Yeah, it's really pretty shade. It's natural. It's a bit bronzy pink. It's buildable too. And it's easy to blend. And again, I will add a little bit on my eyes. And actually you can use two blushes. For example, this lighter shade Down Boy, we can put on the apple of the cheeks and it will give this beautiful gradient a bit more interesting colors and a little step back with the beauty blender to blend it all together. Now moving on to the eyeshadows and again we will use this palette. I feel like I need to use all of these shades. So I will start with the transition color Matt Russo and put it in the crease and blend to make my eyes bigger. Next I will use this firm color. It's got a little bit of shimmer there, but not very much. It doesn't feel very pigmented, so I will just put it with my finger to see the maximum of payoff. Okay, so this is really very gentle shade that you can use for everyday makeup look. The next shade, I will take this Alice Copper. It has a little bit of shimmer there, but like more like sparks and add it in the outer corner of the eye. Again, it's very, very subtle with a brush, but with the finger it goes bolder. So I will put it on with my finger and then I will blend with a brush. And the last color here, Matte Reed. It's a beautiful brown shade. I will put some more in the outer corner with a flat brush, very precisely. And then I will blend it with my previous brush that I blended the first color in the crease. 
I will add this brown matte color in the crease too. I think it's a good shadows for beginners because they don't have a lot of payoff and they're really easy to blend. So probably if you're searching for something when you're just in the beginning of doing makeup then you can try this palette and start with it because it has so many shades. And of course the blushes you can use as eyeshadows too and the highlighter too. And all together it can be a little bit more space to get creative. But of course just in the nude district of makeup you know. I decided to add some brown color on my lower lid and this firm color too. So this is what I get as an eye look from this palette but the eye look doesn't look complete without lashes. So today we are trying this damn girl mascara from Too Faced. I have this travel size and it looks so cute. Oh, it's really beautiful mascara. It doesn't put too much and feels like you can build it up. So I will start with just one layer. Okay, so this is one layer. But it's kind of tricky with the size and the shape of it. I have small eyes to be honest, so I prefer smaller brushes. But I definitely can see how nice this mascara is. It's more about volume and not the length. So if you're into this kind of thing, then probably you can try it. And if you're not afraid of this enormous brush. I'm just wondering, what are they thinking in the moment of doing such a mascara? Like, guys, let's put the biggest ever brush in the mascara. So everybody will just open their mouth so much to get there. It will be so creepy and so cool. Let's do this. I don't understand. Or is it really working? Because as far as I can see, the lashes are really nice because I don't have <laughs> almost any lashes. And now I do have, and they're pretty. Just very, very nice lashes. It's the third layer. I need to stop. I definitely need to stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. And the last thing that we are going to apply is this lipstick from Finding Ferdinand in the shade Au Naturel. It looks like uh, the color of my lips, but a bit cooler. And it's kind of, you know, average lipstick, creamy, a bit sticky. I will put a bit of uh, caramel NYX lip uh, liner in color Peekaboo, just to give this lipstick a bit more brown color. For me, you know, it's just this feel of the lipstick is too classical. It's like from my childhood. So I don't think that you need to pay a lot of attention to that. Though it's really nice how it opens up, like the packaging I really like. The sound is satisfying. So, for today's makeup, I had this beautiful Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mist and I really loved it. It's really hydrating. It feels like it's really natural. The oils are not very thick or heavy. It just feels okay on the face and the foundation sticks to it beautifully. The foundation is quite good. I liked it. I like how it looks. It blends really nice. It feels uh, very comfortable on the skin. So I will definitely use it again and see how it will be performing in the future. I really like it uh, that it has SPF 50 plus, but keep in mind, you need to put it every two hours just to have this sunscreen. For this concealer, I feel it's just like more no than yes for me because you know, it just sits in the pores. Somehow it sinks in so you can see the skin texture and it's kind of weird for a concealer. So I will give it a try maybe one more time, but it feels like it's too thick and doesn't give a lot of coverage. And so because of it, I am not a fan of it. The next one is powder, extraordinary translucent powder from Ciate and I really liked it. The only one issue with it is that it doesn't fill in the pores. What I really like in, for example, Laura Mercier powder. But if you don't have this issue with pores, then you probably will like it because it's really lightweight. It's so easy to apply. It looks beautiful on the skin and it just doesn't feel heavy at all. I think it's a nice product to try. 
I really like this eyebrow pencil. It just looks very natural on my eyebrows. It goes very smoothly, very easily. It will be very comfortable for the beginners because it's really easy to apply and this pulley is nice here too. So I will definitely use it again and again and I think it's becoming one of my favorites probably. I don't know yet but this one is 100% yes because it looks really nice. The next is this palette and it's really cool. Like I love it so much. I think it's super nice for the beginners when you just want to grab something and have a lot of products in it. For $30 you get three blushes, the bronzer, the highlighter, the eyeshadows, though they are a bit similar. But with this range of different products you actually will have space to create, you know, just natural daily looks. But anyway, it's quite a lot to work with and it's very nice for travel. I feel like you can grab it with you and just be good you know it's it's very light it's easy to put it in your back and it's not heavy the mascara <laughs> i don't know i have strange feelings about it the lashes look beautiful but giant brush that it's kind of strange and difficult to use on your eyes but the lashes are good so it depends maybe you have a big eyes and you don't mind this kind of brushes and you enjoy it then maybe try it because it really looks beautiful it gives volume so it's pretty cool but the brush is giant i'm just warning you about it and the lipstick this is like a concealer something that i don't really like it has a nice color a nice packaging this nice click sound but overall it just average lipstick and i'm not sure that you really need it and that you will like it if you tried any of these products then please comment below let me know what are your impressions on this and thank you for watching if you have any questions on makeup please comment Comment below I will be happy to answer them and to make videos on the topics that are interesting for you I love you guys and I hope to see you next time extra what's going on with my lights don't get so excited please everything is okay the makeup is good let's continue I became orange now thanks to my camera Doo -doo 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 -doo. Do, 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 do. Sorry for my singing.